Guys, subscribe and turn notifications on, leave a like and drop a comment down below. Get here first and win giveaway codes I will pin as first comment on some of my videos. Be fast and good luck. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you the latest news out of the weekly twab regarding the future, new events, updates, the season of the Forge, the season of the Drifter and the season of what looks to be robot dildos. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support you can by hitting that like button and if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the twab this week's tells of the future and what's coming, so let's get into it. This week at Bungie we brought the thunder. Many among you have followed the trail of Master Ives Killer. Leads have gone cold over the last few weeks but the scent picked up on Tuesday leading to your final confrontation and the sweet reward. No more waiting, only justice to be served in the frigid wastes of the Cosmodrome. Upon completing the quest and reclaiming your Thunder Lord, you'll also unlock availability of the newest addition to our Bungie Wars program. You will have through 11.59pm PST on November 27th, 2018 to claim your reward and acquire this wearable trophy. May it be a light for you in dark places. Not gonna lie, I do like the look of this jumper, but should I part money to buy it? I'm not even sure. People ordering from the USA to the UK. Some of them import tax charges are absolutely ridiculous on some of the things you buy from here. But hey, the last Cryptarch quest will also be available through November 27th. After that date, Funnel Lord will be rolled into exotic engrams and the Cosmodrome will return to full quarantine. Season of the Forge and beyond. With the Thunder Lord in play at the end of the trail, the Season of the Outlaw has revealed its very last mystery. If you fought your way from Cage through the raid, we would love having you along for the ride. The time has come to begin a new conversation about how the Destiny Endgame will continue to thrive in the months to come. As announced last week, Season of the Forge will begin November 27th, 2018. On that date arrives, we plan to release a brand new Vidoc and a full gameplay calendar to illustrate what awaits your guide for the rest of the year. What we have planned are not post launch expansions you may have played in years past. Your star side journeys will span three distinct seasons that will unfold over the rest of the year. What will each season hold for every player of Destiny 2? How will the annual pass add to that experience? There are questions we want to answer as we introduce you to a whole way to enjoy your hobby as a guardian with new challenges to conquer and new rewards you'll want to add to your inventory. Next week, as the holiday season begins in our neck of the woods, the news coming out of the studio will be random and light. The week after, we'll be exploring all the details of another kind of season. Stay tuned for what comes next. I'm pretty excited, I'm not going to lie to you guys, Destiny for me at the minute is pretty damn dry, I mean the first time I've been in basically a month was to do the Funnel Lord quest and it took me about 15 minutes in total, but at the minute I'm enjoying other games like Red Dead, Black Ops 4 and a couple of others, but I cannot wait to dive back into Destiny 2 for sure. This expansion is to hurry up and land. So we're going to move on and changes are being made to Gambit. A few changes are coming to Gambit in Season 5. Designer Robbie Stevens has a quick list of updates you can expect on November 27th. Quoting Robbie right here, the Gambit team has been closely monitoring the community's reaction to this mod and we've implemented a series of quality of life updates and bug fixes. Gambit bounties, infamy rank point awards for all bounties has been doubled, nice. Numerous dailies, daily challenges and weeklies have had their objectives retuned to take less time and be easier to complete. A new bounty has been added to their daily rotation that requires prime evil envoy kills. Infamy rewards, subdivision rank ups now reward Gambit legendary weapons and armor. Goodbye Blues, nice. Primeval catch-up mechanics. Teams that summon their Primeval second can only ever receive one catch-up stack of Primeval Slayer. Previously, the trailing team would receive multiple stacks depending on how far behind they were. For instance, if their leading team had seven stacks of Primeval Slayer, when the trailing team summoned theirs, they would receive four stacks. Now they will only receive one. Ascendant Prime Evil. We identified another issue that was causing the Ascendant Prime Evil to not always award credit to the correct team when killed, and we fixed it. Next week is our sender for Season of the Outlaw. What better way to celebrate than letting the Drifter sweeten the pot a little? 
Double Infamy starts 9am PST November 20th and ends 9am PST November 23rd. Triple Infamy starts 9am PST November 23rd, ends to be decided November 27th, uh, 2018, which is going to be sometime that day either way. So yes, if you're a fan of uh, Gambit, I mean, I like the mold, but hey, it doesn't really offer me much. I mean, I've got the Malfeasance, I don't really have any other reason to play it. I'm at level 600 now until we get a boost to that power level to grind for. I'm staying clear of it, but if you are a fan of Gambit and like to grind it and, uh, and then weapons and armors and so forth, and this is good news for you. Okay, so moving on to the information about the next update, update 2.1.0. In less than two weeks, Destiny update 2.1.0 will become available for download, kicking off the season of the Forge. Before we're there, we have some housekeeping and notes to cover. Changing seasons. As called out in this week at Bungie last week, players who wish to complete seasonal triumphs and objectives have until November 27th. On that day, season of the Forge will begin. Ranks will reset and incomplete triumphs for season of the Outlaw will expire. Specifically items that will reset are as follows, Nightfall rank, Valor rank, Glory rank, Infamy rank, any incomplete triumph or quest step that requires players to complete our objectives in a single season, any incomplete triumphs with season 4 in the title will expire and be removed at the start of the season of the Forge. Examples of items that will not reset or expire. Quest for Pinnacle Crucible Weapons from Season of the Outlaw. If you currently have a quest item in inventory, it will not be removed. If you are on a step requiring a specific rank or number of rank resets in a season, progress will be lost. Your quest will remain on that step, however, and may be completed the following season. Any incomplete triumph or quest step that requires players to complete objectives across all seasons. Restocking shelves. In addition to rank and triumph resets, players have until November 27th to redeem prismatic facets received from weekly Eververse bounties. After the season transitions, prismatic facets from Season of the Outlaw will expire and no longer be available for use in the prismatic matrix. Players should also be aware that steadfast engrams will be removed from Eververse stock at the start of Season of Forge and will be replaced with a new bright engram that contains new items. New bright engrams and new items, I mean, the way Eververse is now, I actually don't mind the system, I mean, before Forsaken dropped, about a month prior to that, everyone was bitching about Eververse and it was ruining the game. The way it is now is pretty sweet in my opinion, I mean, I've got most things I've wanted from, it, I've probably got 99% of things I've wanted from Eververse without purchasing a single bright gun. So the way the system is now, I enjoy it. So I cannot wait to see new shit, I really can't. Infamous. With the upcoming transition into Season 4, there is a known issue regarding Gambit bounties which we would like to bring to the attention of our players. Players who complete Gambit bounties during Season of the Outlaw and keep those bounties in their inventories after the season transitions must complete a Gambit match in a new season before turning them bounties in. Okay, so that's good to know. So make sure you do not turn them bounties if you have Gambit bounties stats as soon as Season 5 starts. Make sure you wait until you complete at least one Gambit game. Players who turn in these bounties after Season of the Forge begins, but before playing a Gambit match, will not correctly receive points to their Infamy rank from those bounties, so that's the reason why people a heck of a week. In recent weeks, some players have noticed the Season of the Forge begins on November 27th, but Black Armour becomes available on December 4th. Just like the release of Forsaken before it, there will be a one week window in which Destiny 2 will be in a state of transition, and players may encounter a number of unforeseen issues. Okay, so that's good to know all sort of people. But yes, so that is it. That is all the information, in my opinion, from the TWAB. I mean, if you do want to read through all, I mean, I don't think it mentions anything else worth knowing. But yeah, if you do want to read through all, you'll find it linked within the video description, people. But a change is coming not long now, a couple of weeks maximum, and we'll be playing the Black Armour DLC. And I cannot wait, guys. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. It really does help me out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, like guys, top five games, players, reviews, just about everything, be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload, turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But again, thanks for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Always in